Hey you guys, so today I am going to be doing like a meat pie dish. What you're going to need is a pre-frozen, um, pre-cooked pie dish. If you know how to make your own, that's even better. And to top it off, I have um, one of these pie crusts that I just roll out. Well, I don't even roll it out. I just unroll it and kind of place on top. I have some ground beef already browning on the stove. You're going to need some frozen vegetables. Worcestershire sauce and some seasonings. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys how to whip up this really, really quick and simple dish um, for your family or for yourself. So as you all can see, the gravy has cooked in very nicely here, and it looks really good, okay? So, only thing left to do is to incorporate our vegetables. These have to cook. All right, also, I have the regular mixed vegetables. I know typically you can also use the just diced carrots and sweet peas. I didn't have that. So I'm using what I have. So I'm gonna actually taste this to make sure I'm good with how everything is. I'm gonna give it a little quick taste test before we start, you know, making dishes all up. That's really good, y'all. Also, y'all, I just added literally like a half a cup more of some vegetables. And I forgot to take out my garlic and herb. This is Kerrygold butter. Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. Okay? All right, y'all, for real. I'm going to meet y'all at the island.
15 to 20 minutes, right? Um, I will check back in with you all at the 15 minute mark if they are ready to go. See you shortly. All right, you guys. So actually, this has been in for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And as you can see, it's still, you know, cooking. This is nice and crispy, but I wanted to get brown on the top. So I'm actually going to go ahead and broil these to get the brownness. Because everything was cooked already before we put them in the oven. So now we are going to broil them. And I will come back and let you guys know what the finished results looks like. All right, you guys. I hope the color you all can see what the finished results look like. This is the cottage pie with our mashed potato topping. It's very solid, actually. It's very stiff. It may look very soft, but it's not. Even over here, I probably could have used a little bit more mashed potatoes to make sure it was really sealed in so that's my fault but even still it's such a small area and of course we have the oof, other meat pie with our regular crust it is nice and it's so hot y'all i'm sorry can't really touch it the way i want to but it looks and i'm sure it's going to be delicious i'm going to scoop this up and show you all what it looks like um i'm going to let the twins decide whether they want the covering with the crust or if they want the covering with the mashed potatoes and i will show you all what each looks like and please don't forget to like comment or subscribe and i won't even say or subscribe please subscribe i am trying to build up my subscribers and i work you know hard relatively hard when i do do a video to bring content that i think that you all will enjoy but also be able to use it in your everyday lives so don't forget to subscribe and as always thank you so much for watching stay tuned to see um, what they look like once I cut them open so y'all here are the differences this is our pie with our crust filling it looks delicious but here's our pie with the mashed potato and I mean it was oozing like a little bit of cheese when I like pulled it out of the pan and it looks very good I think I'm gonna lean towards the ma uh, mashed potatoes but either way I go, you can do your, what we call a meat pie, or you can do like a cottage pie slash my take on a shepherd's pie. And I hope you all enjoy these recipes. There are two different ones, basically using the same ingredients. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.